Hi everyone, this is Mike at Brash Monkey, and this is an overview of the Essentials version of the new Radius Wing Shmup Art Pack. The core component of this new art pack is the Player Ship Spriter project, which is this file here, which allows you to customize a smooth 32 frame rotation animation of a high resolution classic arcade style spaceship for shoot 'em up games or shmups. So let me just click play for this rotation animation. Click on the character maps button here. That'll bring up this dialog. And all I have to do is drag any of the available character maps into this active slot here. And you'll see that I'm choosing different components for the ship. So there are a few different options for this essentials version. There will be many, many more in the full commercial version of this art pack. So, to customize your own ship, the first thing you would do is choose your different components. And uh, there are obviously left and right wing. One of the cool features is you can actually change them asymmetrically. You can change one wing without changing the other. So you can create asymmetrical ship designs if you want to. Or of course you can create symmetrical designs. So let's say for example we did not want these uh, left and right fin components on the ship. We can get rid of the active fin components and then choose uh, no left fin and no right fin and that'll get rid of those components. And you can see how that looks with different cockpits. There's the default cockpit and there's cockpit one and there's cockpit two. So I'm just going to quickly go through the different body designs so you can see. Uh, let's do cockpit two, top fin two, right wing two, left wing two, right fin two, left fin two. Oops. There we go. So you can see there are lots of different possibilities. So once you come to a configuration you're happy with, the next step would be to customize the colors of your ship. And to do that, you click on this little painter's palette icon in the bottom right corner of your character maps palette. And that'll bring up this color palette dialog. And now you start picking your uh, colors for each um, part of the color scheme. So for example, the main body color, I'll expand that and you have all these little thumbnails. So you can see we can pick a very uh, white, whitish gray, slightly darker gray, and everything down to almost black. And you can just go through and pick a color scheme, uh, color that you like. So once you've come up with a design that you're happy with and a color scheme that you're happy with, you can save all of that as a character file by clicking again in the character maps palette down here at the bottom uh, left hand side you see this little blue disk icon you click on that and you can save I'll just save it to my desktop and we'll call this example ship and we'll save that and now you'll see if I clear active and go back to the default ship I can click this little uh, folder icon here at the bottom left and I can reload from my desktop, I can reload the example ship. There you go. And of course, these uh, created ships, not only are you creating the uh, vertical version for a vertical scrolling shmup, you're also creating the horizontal version. And you can export your animation at any size you need uh, from this uh, very large size or smaller and you can export it as an animated GIF or as sequential PNG images or um, sprite strip images. And once your ship is designed and exported you could add additional life to it by adding exhaust animations from the Spriter Essentials version of this art pack. And uh, so here are some of those exhaust animations of varying uh, dimensions, some wider, some taller for both horizontal and vertical. The Essentials version uh, comes with this set of designs in two different color schemes. 
Uh, if you have any familiarity with any graphics programs, it would be very easy to, um, to create other color variations. And the pack also includes a couple different player shots that you can use in your game. So here's a very fast um, overview of some of the shot designs that are included in the pack. And this, uh, this includes uh, both vertical and horizontal versions. Of course, you can rotate them to any angle you need in your actual game. And it will also include muzzle flashes for, this, for each shot design and an impact flash. There's the impact flash and muzzle flash is coming up. There we go, there's the muzzle flash for horizontal and vertical. And the other design that the Essentials version comes with for shots is this plasma shot here. There's the impact flash muzzle flash, a few different sizes, and a few variations. The full version of the art pack comes with additional shot designs, additional uh, color variations, and just basically more of everything. And another cool uh, component of this art pack, even the Essentials version, has a force field effect that you can apply in your game engine around your ship for uh, when the player, for example, collects a uh, force field power-up. And that includes a sort of loop idle for this effect and a hit animation for when the player collides with something. And another cool component to this art pack is a collection of power-ups. The Essentials version comes with one type of power-up capsule with either um, sort of missile icon or a uh, blank icon and of course that's just one image in the Spryder project so you just change that one image and that icon can be whatever you want it to be and uh, it comes with a static animation of the icon facing straight forward and a nice smooth rotation animation for the power up and uh, just like with the ships you have full uh, color customization ability for these capsules and uh, the Essentials version comes with this one capsule design, uh, but the full commercial version of the art pack comes with several different capsule designs and has a, a, an other alternate animation rotating in the horizontal direction as opposed to vertical. And seeing as almost no shmup game would be complete without some explosions, the even the Essentials version comes with some explosions for you, which obviously can be customized. The uh, full commercial version of the art pack comes with a much larger variety of explosions. So here are those. And don't forget that even the Essentials version of this art pack comes with many hundreds of images that you can combine together however you'd like. For example, like so. And then animate however you see fit using Spriter's features like bone animation with nice smooth tweening, etc. And that's it for this video. Keep in mind this is just one of the many free Essentials versions of the art packs that come with Spryder Pro when you purchase it. And you can always visit brashmonkey.com, that's B-R-A-S-H-M-O-N-K-E-Y.com to learn more about Spryder and uh, check out all of the other art packs that are available. Thanks a lot for watching.